Holding in his hand his father's military dog tags, Rick Kibbe felt the memories flooding back, memories of a man who died a hero, Air Force rescue pilot Richard Kibbe of Satellite Beach. Rick says his dad was something of a rebel sometimes, and when one of his dog tags was misspelled, missing the second R in Richard, he wore it in Vietnam. So we knew they were authentic, and they, we knew they were, they were ours. Those misspelled dog tags lay in the Vietnamese soil for almost 50 years before a farmer found them and solved a mystery. For years, the family had never known if Kibby had listed as missing in action was dead or alive. It was in 1967, flying a rescue mission, that Kibbe's helicopter, disabled by enemy fire, crashed into a cliff. Rick Kibbe was 12. He's now 63. His mother never recovered. She hoped until the final determination, and we think that when that occurred, uh, she just gave up hope and... Just a second. She died of a broken heart. Brothers Dave and John Kibbe were also at a Patrick Air Force Base ceremony to receive the dog tags. This is the newest version of the Air Force rescue helicopter, and the people here at this ceremony, well, you could say they're the newest versions of the heroic Colonel Kibbe. They saved over 4,000 people in Vietnam, and they really forged what we carry on today. The family now hopes to recover Kibbe's remains and put them in final rest with his wife. At Patrick Air Force Base, Dan Billow. West 2 News.